Hey my lovely subbies, it's Heather here. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot this video. Um, I don't know, I've been feeling like shit basically the past few days because of everything going on. It's all just been a complete and total head fuck. You know, like, I don't know what started it. I don't know, I, r I really have no idea. I mean, yeah, I talked to Honest, but apparently like I did it on Facebook Messenger and that's all it took. You know, like, and that was at the beginning of the month, and then I don't even know, and I've talked about how, like, my kid's dad was, and all kinds of shit like that, and so it's just, but it's like this whole male chauvinistic bullshit asshole, like, narcissism level of crap and everything. It's like, I have two guys that I talk to um, on Amino, and I got one of them on my Facebook right now, and... He even sometimes comes across like, I don't know, but he, he gives a lot of good advice, I do have to say, you know, and everything. But he's just very uh, guarded, which I get and everything. And then he's like, you know, kind of laughing at me because he's like, why aren't you more guarded? And I'm like, because that's just not in my personality. And he basically sees it all as like funny. So I, I wouldn't really consider that somebody that's a friend that laughs at your pain but I mean it's somebody to talk to I guess and then uh this other guy like I helped him actually get his girlfriend that he's got and I help him like kind of navigate the relationship stuff and everything and he he's just real nice to me and everything and uh he doesn't act that way like I think because he just, he has enough respect for me to know that, you know, me saying, like, no means no, you know. Um, but anyways, so my Facebook has been blowing up for the past week now. Um, all these people, most of them from Africa, most of them from Gambia, or uh, I think that's how you properly say it, or other places around there, and, uh... Honest was from Morocco, and then, like, I'm still trying to talk to him and be nice and civil. Well, what would I consider nice? I don't know, because hell, we, he did, <laughs> we both did it, too. <coughs> we we kind of teasingly cussed at each other the other day, which I'm cool with, you know, because it's not like he's, you know... We're, we're not boyfriend, girlfriend, we're not dating or anything, and so it's just in one ear and out the other, kind of, but, uh, he still shows signs of the same thinking that other people are showing, and then no man, like, <laughs> Jesus Christ, the same questions over and over again, when am I going to go to sleep? That is a very rude fucking question to ask every week. What time are you going to bed? When are you going to sleep? I told you what hours that I typically sleep. I'm not going to allow you to know, oh, my bedtime, you know, is it this time? And then even if I do that, he's not going to agree with that. And that's the thing, too, is it's like this overruling type it's a mind game. It's head fuckery, basically. And I've done lived long enough to know, you know, and everything. And I'm like, would you just admit, you know, that you're trying to fuck me over? Like, I'll, I'll be the bad guy. I'll be the bitch, you know. I'll be like, oh, fuck you, you know, it's over. But block me after that, please. Because, yeah, I, I am lonely. Yeah, I would love to talk to people. And, of course, I would love to have a relationship with somebody, but... I've been sing this girl's been single for six fucking years. You really think it's going to be life or death if I don't have somebody? Like, it's not going to be the end of me just because I don't have a husband or a wife or a boyfriend or a girlfriend or whatever. It's not going to be the end of me. Um, it hasn't been the end of me so far. Um, when I was born, when we were all born, it wasn't like, okay, you're born and you're only 30 seconds old here's your partner for the rest of your life, and if you don't stay with them, and you, 
you know, walk 20 feet from them, then God, we're just going to have to put a bullet in your head because, man, y'all are both dead. Y'all are both dead. Y'all fucking left each other. You know, like, no. You know, like, just because that that's the thing is, like, some people get so wrapped up in this whole relationship, like, bullshit and everything and it's like no that that's not how it's supposed to be that's not how it is and everything and then I have I have some of them I mean all I can the only word that I can even think of is like presumptuous you know and like audacity like how dare you have the fucking audacity to ask me and to say the things to me that you're fucking saying to me because I know I know your little punk ass bitch that if I was standing face to face with you and asked you the same fucking questions that you're asking me you would try to slap me and there's a part of me that's like oh god because I got a lot of anger pent up so it's like you know, let's fight, you know, kind of, but I don't want to fight, I really don't, I don't want to fight with people, I just want people to treat me with the same goddamn respect that I fucking treat them with, but apparently, we live in a day and in a society, and not just over here in western culture, in the great USA, of a, which supposedly means to these, some of these, just, I mean, it's like a whole nother level of FOMO, and them not understanding that just like they suffer over there, we suffer over here. It may not be the same, and that's even like uh, Pierre XO, uh, he made a video that was just released today, and he was talking about uh, Sudan and about how people over here don't know. We don't know what it's like to be over there and have to deal with like bullets whizzing by your head, basically. You know, with shit going on and wars and, you know, and that's anybody, and that's even people that come back from being in war, you know, they're like, man, you don't know what the fuck it's like, and shit like that. But survival is still survival. And I've been through a lot of mental stress, psychological stress, in my home life. And so, therefore... Basically, the bullets whizzing by was my dad calling me a bitch and a whore and a slut and a cunt and telling me that my daughter was going to be a bitch. And, um, you know, his footsteps coming up the steps and him pulling up outside in the fucking car after he'd get off work. And you knew, you knew if you were not in order. And then even if you were... Because it was like, it was like dealing with Hitler, you know? It's like you have to be already fucking predicting what the fuck they want. And yet their wants aren't even stable. And even if they say that they're stable, like say, you know, for instance, just to give an example, they're like, everybody needs to line up at 3 p.m. You know, like, you know, if you're in the army or some shit like that, you know, or some, you know, everybody pull ranks, everybody, you know, and stuff like that. And so say say that's one of the rules. This is just an example. This is not anything that I've lived through, but this is an example. <sighs> Trying to make people understand that I get it. Like my mind gets it. I fucking get it. Oh God, do I get it? I get it so much. And what little bit I don't get it, I don't want to. And mad respect for the ones that do. But at the same damn time, you're not gonna come and treat me like I'm an unworthy piece of shit. Just because you ain't went through the same crap as me, but guess what, honey? You know, like, or I ain't went through the same crap as you, but guess what? You ain't went through the same crap as me, okay? Everybody in this life has hardships. I don't know why the hell people in other countries are looking at America, basically, and they're like, oh, heaven. We must go to heaven. We must find a way to heaven. That looks like heaven over there. Looks so much more free. Looks so much more fun. And yet these are the same people, half of them, that preach all the gospel about how the grass is greener on the other side and you're not supposed to, you know, give in to that. You know, you're supposed to realize that you have it good where you are. And yet they're all, it's a facade. It's a fucking, it is the biggest scam and I guess that's why they try to scam us is because they're scamming them damn selves, trying to lie to them fucking selves and tell them fucking selves that, you know, 
oh, yes, the, gr the grass is never greener on the other side, and our life is just as good as yours, and we really do believe that. But when they go home and they lay down at night, you know, or they lay down to go to sleep, wherever they lay down to go to sleep, it seems to me, from what I'm experiencing, that they're like, damn Americans, so lucky, right before they go to sleep. Like, I just, I don't even have that for my fucking fellow Americans over here that are rich. I don't sit here and go to bed at night and I'm like, damn rich ass America. You know, like, I don't, you know, like, because the, the ones that are rich over here, they're fucking miserable, most of them. They can't, they can't even keep husbands and wives. And then they have all these big houses that they can't even go and clean every room every day, you know, and they can't, you know, and it's not, it's not good for your mental health to have a bunch of fucking spare rooms just sitting there. And then, you know, because innately we do care about each other. Okay. Human nature, we fucking care. Okay. That's just like dogs and cats and all the videos that people share and show, you know, uh, what is it? You know, like two dogs will be strays, you know, and they're out on the fucking road together and one gets ran over and is dead or dying. And the other dog just sits there with it until it dies. And then even after it dies, it, you know, cuddles up to it and it lays on it and stuff like that or whatever. I mean, that is what we all have in us. Now, granted, some of us have learned to block that shit out, especially people, I do believe, that are from other countries. And that's really fucking sad because I sit here and I talk about how fucking miserable I am over here. So I can only imagine how fucking miserable it is over there to feel like nobody gives a flying fuck about you. Because it feels like shit over here to know that nobody gives a flying fuck about you and about your feelings and about your opinions and about your ideas and about you as a person. But I just, I don't know. I'm just so mad. I'm so mad right now. I'm so fucking mad. I'm so fucking irritated. I'm so fucking pissed off. And I'm so fucking tired of people telling me that they love me. And they mean it in a sexual, I want to fuck you way. But then not really, because if they could just get over here and get a goddamn visa or what the fuck ever, I guess, to get the fuck over here and shit, then that's what the fuck that they would do. If they if they could get away with doing that without having to sleep with me or any other person that they sit there and they promise engagements and all this and I want to marry you and everything else. I mean, I'm getting fucking marriage proposals like left and right. I'm getting I love yous and will you marry me and I really mean it and all this shit and everything. And then they're getting mad that I'm testing their endurance of the relationship. They're getting mad at me, and I'm like, bitch, you funny as fuck. Of course I'm gonna test it, okay? That's what we do over here, okay? We test things out. Sorry that y'all go, yeah, that works, you know, and you just jump in. You know, maybe that's the reason. That I, I mean, I, I this is gonna sound really fucking bad. It really is. Like, to the point that it's just, it's just god-awful. It is for me to say that. But holy shit, can you imagine if you went with every idea that ever popped into your head and you thought it was right? Every single idea. And you never tested things. Like, for instance, you go to get in the water, you know, and you don't put your foot in the water to see if the water's too cold or too hot. And instead, you just jump right in because you want to get in the water. And you think it's a great idea to get in the water, so you just go ahead and get in and you else freeze your fucking ass off or you fucking scald the shit out of yourself, basically. That's what I feel like these other people from other countries do. Where us, we're like, uh, I want to, I, I want to. But we've watched our ancestors do that shit enough, you know, where they jumped in and got their ass froze or they jumped in and got their ass scalded by the hot water, whichever way it is. And we were like, yeah, great, great grandfather. That wasn't too good of a good, you know, idea there, was it, son? You know, it's kind of like, OK, ne next time I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick my, my finger or my toe in the water, you know, and t test it and. You know, kind of see, see, see if I can sink or swim. See if it's too co cold, too hot. You know, see, see, see if it's gonna be okay. But these other people, man, these other people. I swear, I guess I, I like that's the way that I feel. Is I feel like they're just jumping. They're just jumping 
wherever they can jump, basically, whatever they can jump into, that's what they're doing. Because they are so... hysterical internally like I, I don't know the word to use but basically that's that's what it sounds like it's like mass hysteria and it's just like oh god you know and it's like we gotta you know and it's like we gotta marry somebody we gotta get out of here you know it's like a internal panic or something that they gotta move and they gotta get out of there, wherever the fuck they're at. And they actually believe that if they do and they come over here, that their life is going to be great. And even though, and I, in all honesty, it's probably a bunch of the media and the way that things are publicized over here and all kinds of just god awful bullshit. Just god awful bullshit, okay? People, what you see on TV, whenever you look at all this, it is all an act. It is all an act. That's the reason I've been making all these videos and I have as many videos up as I do. And yet I only got 20 subscribers. Is because I'm keeping it real. I'm not sitting here playing. I'm not sitting here going, oh, let me look beautiful. Let me let me go take a shower. Let me let me put on my makeup. Let me put on my lipstick. And let me sit here and let me act like I'm perfect. And be like, hi, babies. How are you today? I would like to talk to you about, you know, and all that. And I'm not saying nothing against the people that do act that way. And I'm not saying nothing against the ones that kind of in the middle, like they keep it real, but they also have certain mannerisms, I guess, about them that like they, they know what they want. Okay. The people that want a bunch of subscribers, they have them. Okay. End of subject. Okay. That's just like men that want to sleep with a bunch of women. They learn how to talk to the women. They learn how to seduce the women. You know, like, and females, they learn how to, you, they learn how to seduce. And that's the thing, too, that I, I even mentioned in one of my videos before, is I was like, I am not fucking seducible unless I want to be. So, whenever I've had people in the past few months since I moved here with my grandmother, which it's all just a big gag, because I was living in town where everybody was, basically. And anybody could have came and seen me. And I had my own place for three and a half years. And everybody let me know that they wanted not a damn thing to do with me. And then they didn't want anything to do with me either. Because I had baggage, as they label it, which is my child. So they wanted nothing to do with me. So now I move here with my grandmother. I'm out of town. I'm out of their reach. They can't get to me. And now they're all talking to me. Hey, baby, I love you. Hey, baby, I miss you. Hey, baby, you want to hang out? Hey, baby, you want to spend some time together? And I'm like, where the fuck were you all this other time? Where the fuck were you when I needed you? And that is the thing is nobody's ever been there before when I've needed them. And so for people to sit there and be like, oh, I love you and this and that. Honey, you got to prove to me that you can be there when I need you. And I'm not just talking about little flim flam things here and there, you know, and shit like that. I'm talking about, no, I need, I need somebody that can be just as committed into the relationship as I am. And so far, I ain't found nobody. Because everybody is more committed into themselves and what they want than anybody else. And it's just a bunch of bullshit. I actually had somebody write me and say, can you please do a video call with me to verify that this is not a fake Facebook account? And I come within a hair of being like, listen here, bitch. You know, like, listen here. How fucking dare you? You're the one that sent me the goddamn friend request, buddy. It wasn't me sending it to you. And that is the thing, is y'all are selling, y'all are trying to sell so you can exploit, and y'all are selling whatever you think you need to sell so that way you can exploit whatever it is that you're trying to exploit out of me. And that's the thing, too. I don't understand how, how your brain do, cannot process. Broke. Poor. No money. Okay? None. 
I might have $10, 10 US dollars to my name. I don't have bank accounts. I don't have savings accounts. I don't have anything. And that's one thing I've even sat here and laughed with my grandmother the past few days about. And I live with my grandmother, and she's taking care of me as best as she can. Because my life is shit. My life is shit. And I live in the USA. Woohoo! It's not supposed to be shit. Wake up. It is. Just like your life is shit wherever the fuck you're at. Oh my god. But I've been laughing with my grandmother going... Hell, even if they're trying to scam me, I would love to see what they're trying to get from me. I mean, unless they're unless y'all can run over here and, like, rip my clothes off of me. Or steal the food directly out of my mouth, like, as I'm eating it. Or take what possessions I do have. Oh, God, you know, I have clothes and I have DVDs and, you know, I have a TV, you know, and I have a couch and I have a bed. Woohoo! Boy, I'm living real rich over here. Like, fucking hell, man. Open your minds. Stop letting your mind be fogged by your fucking ego. By your pride that tells you that just because I'm over here in the USA, that that means that I'm just sitting here rolling in money. And the reason that, you know, my grandmother can take care of me is because, you know, oh my God, we just have so much money. And that's the reason I'm so fat, too, is because I just, I'm, I'm a lazy, fat American. And boy, if you come over here, you can be a lazy, fat American, too. And you can just sit on your ass and you can just eat and eat and eat, and eat, and do what you want to do, and yeah, because it would make so much sense, not really, this is complete and total fucking sarcasm, okay, and if you don't know what that word is, then I recommend you go and look it up, like seriously, but this is complete and total fucking sarcasm, okay, do you really think that if I had the ability to do what I wanted to do, that, A, for starters, I would even be making YouTube videos like this. Uh, hell fucking no. That I would look like this. Nobody wants to look like this. Nobody wants to be fat. Okay? Nobody wants to even live in... Well, I don't know about that. But to a degree, most people don't want to look like this. Okay? Okay? And so if I had money to be doing what I wanted to do, do you really think I'd be sitting here at my grandmother's day in, day out, and just trying to figure out, okay, you know, is she going to get mad at me because I took a shower three days ago and I'm trying to take one now, you know, and she's going to say it's too much water, you know, and too much for the water bill and too much money. So do I have to wait five days or a full week before I can take a damn bath, you know, because she's going to complain about that. And... Oh my fucking God, I'm so mad. At least, at least y'all gave my heart a workout, basically. I, I'll give you that. You, you you gave my heart a workout. And it honestly probably needed it. So that way, you know, it could pass, it, like, it could get over, like, fucking, I don't know. <sighs> I guarantee you, though, that if I'm this rich USA woman... I'm not going to be sitting here making fucking videos like this. I'm not going to be sitting here as fat as I am. I'm not going to be sitting here without a goddamn vehicle. I'm not going to be sitting here without my damn daughter. I'm not going to be sitting here in my grandmother's home. Okay? So piss off, basically. Like, I, I don't know what the fuck else to say. Piss off. Like, you want to act like a goddamn asshole? And that is a reflection of you. And that's another thing, too. All the religion and all the shit that it preaches and everything and everybody's religion and what little bits I've just heard, bits and pieces here and there. Y'all are so fucking hypocritical. Y'all are so fucking hypocritical. Like, I just, I just want people to talk to that I get along with. Is that really too much to ask? And apparently it is. God damn. 
if I can't just have a conversation with people and it not be me being mean and man- malicious and manipulative to them and them being that way to me or us both being that way to each other or what the fuck ever, then I don't know why the fuck anybody's alive. I really don't. Don't know why anybody's alive if that's the case. If I can't have a conversation with you and you have one back with me and us just enjoy the the interaction that's going on. The human conversation. The human connection. And by connection, I don't mean your fucking dick up in my pussy, okay? Like, I don't know how much more fucking plainly to put that, okay? And that's even little kids and shit like this. And, oh my God. And and you're teaching these kids to be like this. And to have this, this narrow boxed fucking thinking of us. And I would never. I would never. Like... Yeah, okay, yeah, prepare for war, basically, okay, prepare for war, but God damn it, that doesn't mean that everything that you go on once you are preparing for war or whatever has to be a war. And I'm not even saying like, oh God, prepare for war, you know, we're coming after you, like, no, I don't mean it like that, I mean like from a psychological point. And that's the thing, too, even me talking to Nomon. I fucking just, I let him have it, like, basically. I let him have my whole story today. I let him have it. And he didn't say anything. It wasn't, oh, God, you know, or I'm sorry, or I hate that that happened. That's the least that you can say, okay? You don't have to say, oh, God, and you're a religious person, so whatever. You don't have to say you're sorry for it, okay? Because you're not. You're not. And it's not even your place to take that sorrow. But is it really going to hurt for you to say that you hated for that to happen to me? Like you, you wish it wouldn't have happened to me? Because I fucking guarantee you that every bad story that I hear about dealing with anybody, I hate that it happened to you. I hate that evil exists. I hate that people have bad days. I hate that people lose loved ones. I hate that people die and it devastates the family members. Okay? I hate that wars happen. I hate that natural disasters happen. I hate that violence happens. I hate that abuse happens. I hate that there is negativity in the world. I hate that people are narrow-minded. I hate that people hate. I hate that people hate. And I hate that they hate on others. Like, I don't understand how nobody else is, like, on this same thought process as me. But, whatever. I've been alone this fucking long for as far as, like, not feeling all lovey-dovey and, like, somebody gives a shit about me. So, it's not going to be the first time. But I'm going to end this video here. I hope everybody's doing good. I really do. Like, I don't want to cry because, you know, I was really hopeful, you know. Every relationship I, I feel like I can get into. Like, if you go back and you watch my videos where I was talking about EJ, you know, and where I was talking about Jason, and now Honest, and now Noman, you know. Like, I, I get hopeful, you know. And y'all, like, people try to use that. And it's not because they're necessarily bad people, but it's because they're allowing the devil to run wild in their head and in their heart. I'm going to end it here. I hope everybody's doing good. Keep putting your best foot forward. I don't know what else to say. Take care. Bye.